Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be reviewing this Drock Micro OLED USB 3.0 multimeter. So in this packaging, it came with a user manual. So this user manual is pretty handy. There are some grammatical errors in it, but I still found it pretty easy to follow. This here's list of technical parameters. So this is an improvement over their previous, the th US previous USB 3.0 multimeter because of this, of the DC range. This one is 3.7 volts to 13 volts. So it's USB 2.0 or USB 3.0. That's uh, on the back. There's a couple more selections. Uh, you can just have a regular direct connection, quick charge, and disconnect mode. Show some of the other sections on the manual. In it also had a little strap. And then here's that draw key. On this key itself, right here, where the yellow part is, this is a button. So I would just hold this down, insert it, and then I can make my selections. So help me with my test. Here I got a Apple AC adapter. This one for the iPhone. And I also got my iPhone 5 here with a MFI certified lightning cable. So what I'm gonna do is plug it in to this device right now, to the Drock multimeter. Then I'm gonna insert it to here. So now I'll just do that. The menu system goes over pretty fast. So currently I have a set to USB fast charge and that'll be the first thing that you'll see right after the Drock, lo Drock logo. So it says USB fast. So it says it's 5.02 volts, how much watts, the current is about 0.84 and then the milliamp hours. So what I'm gonna also do is, in the past I've always used the Legion meter to do my test. I'm gonna just demonstrate what the Legion meter says and see if the two results are comparable. So the Legion meter says volt is about five. The current, eh, well, just about, it fluctuates between, mm, it's also about 0.8, so now it seems to stabilize 0 0.87, 0 0.86, 0 0.87. Here's the watts. What I'm gonna do is plug, have them daisy chain so you can see the results. I'll flip it too, just so you can see the current. So I'm gonna switch over about 0.8 amps or so on the drop. But of course, there'd be a little bit less current over here uh, legion meter because it's layered down the chain. So on the drug, it says that it's 0.8. And it, the drug measures in three decimal places to the th uh, thousandths, whereas my pre previous multimeter it only measures to the hundreds. So I'm, I'm just flipping them around. Switch it. So now this one is a little bit higher because it's first in the chain versus the drug. But you can still tell that it's very equivalent. I do trust the Legion meter and based on these results, I will trust the drug multimeter as well. In terms of pros and cons, I do find this to be accurate. I like how it measures down to the thousandths rather than the hundredths. And the display, the OLED display is beautiful and everything's on one screen. I don't need to cycle through it or anything. It's nice that it came with a little strap, but the hole over here is just too small. I can't slide this through, but that's really not a big deal. Overall, I do like this unit and I will recommend it. All right, so thanks for watching this review of the Drock USB 3.0 multimeter. Drock did provide this unit for review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.